Angela Arnold with uh, College Admissions 411, Study Abroad to Success.com, and also WorkAtHomeWinners.com. I am looking at Weebly here. We're looking at the last few elements that we need to complete a website. And one of the forms is a divider. I don't use this too much, but you can decide for yourself if you want to use it. I think it's a nice addition to some pages. You know, when you're building a website, you don't want all of your pages to look alike. So a divider comes in handy for that, especially if you want to divide distinct forms of your page. And again, it's very simple. You just drag and drop it. There it is. There's a divider. It just puts a line across your page wherever you want it to go. So I can put a line there. Let's put another line down here. And I can go to the basic menu tab click on paragraph let's the paragraph with photo picture with paragraph put it in between the divider lines and i can write up my copy like that and have it separated from the rest of uh, the page that i want to create so um let's say title just call the title title and the paragraph would be there and let's just up upload an image just to show you a little bit about how it would look Again, I'll just upload my image quickly from uh, from my website, I mean from my uh, computer, and I can copy and paste whatever text I want to put in there. Uh, so let's put this in, just some of my copy from my book. Okay, and I hit this, and there I have, right between the two divider lines, I have my text in a picture. So, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, that looks good. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Make this a little larger. Uh, click the icon up here. Okay. A little bit larger. Alrighty. And I'll make my title bold and larger. Click that. And I'll publish it and then we can go on over and see what it looks like on the web page. But one thing about Weebly is generally what you see is what you get. So you see what that looked like. I'm going to go over to the website. I'll click on my one page and there you can see it with nice divider lines there. So you can see the divider makes it look nice and elegant and I use it on on pages where I have sidebars or where I want to set off the um, the comments and separate it from the rest of the page but it has a nice clean look to it. So um, I guess that's it for the uh, divider lines and we have a few more topics to cover in these tutorials. Hope you're getting a lot out of it. I know um, I could have really used something like this when I first got started, and I hope it's being uh, useful to you. So take care, have a great day, and I'll see you on the other side.